Hello everybody, this is Havoc and welcome back to Old World. It's been a little bit and apologies on that. Work has been insanely busy. And for anyone who's new to the channel, YouTube is always the first thing that takes a backseat, unfortunately, when things get busy. So a big apologies on that does not mean that I am not interested in this game anymore. In fact, quite the opposite. I've been chomping at the bit to try to get back to it. We are at war with Egypt. The Hatti still really, really despise us. And to be quite frank, they've got quite a few troops on our borders that I don't appreciate. We have barbarians at the gates. Well, uh, sort of at the gates. We have a lot going on. And Caesar II, the new, still doesn't have an heir technically. So we are in a little bit of a pickle in that regard. We would have Princess Scribonia the Pious as our successor. So if possible, maybe an adoption would be available. Uh, that's not something I think that I can do as a... Hmm, I'm not sure. We'll have to see what I can do in the next turn to see what we can't force that. But we are at war with Egypt. I don't know how much longer that will last, to be honest, because, well, I don't know how many more troops they have and things of that nature. But I'm not, I'm going to be real frank. Hatti hate us. Like, they despise us. And so I, I have a feeling that war is inevitable. And I want to kind of prepare for that down here, if at all possible. So we're going to see what it has in store for us. And let's get to it. All right. Chancellor Sulpicia returns to the palace chastened. She relates what happened when she visited the Valerius estate, where he was he was accused of trying to bribe members of the family. Ooh. Accused of throwing a bribes, minus 20 opinion. Let's take a look at our family. If the Fabius are actually like the best thing, we're gonna recover as much money as possible, I think. And then we've made contact with the Assyrians. We're gonna be friendly, we're just gonna keep things nice and easy. Well, here we go. The royal line withers and you are growing older. It's time to introduce some fresh blood. Do we want Kaiso of Antium, Mamercus of Alala, or Drusilla? Hmm. We're not going to do this. I think we're going to adopt Mamercus of Alala for now. There we go. Among the bickering deceit of the court, there is one fellow you found you can always rely upon. Your furry, wet nose, occasionally stinky, but always very happy to see you companion. Yeah, for sure. No, we're definitely going to have that. And the war with Egypt is threatening to define your rule in the eyes of the people of Rome. Hmm, as reports return of another sortie against enemy forces, the question remain, will you commit to the path of war? Yeah, ambition and act holy war. I don't think we're at that point. We're going to make peace of three tribes or nations. I think that's a good one. All right, and then as for my main man himself, let's go ahead and have a marriage with the Valerius that secures our line with that royal family, and then we'll see what happens. And no guarantees. I don't expect or anticipate anything, uh, but we'll see what happens. All right, we're going to continue our war against those boyos. Uh, we are going to... Oh, okay. Well, Egypt just founded something here. So that's very interesting. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, let me just gather this for myself and hope that that works. I can push up here. We're going to waste... A, I won't say waste. Waste is a, is a word that isn't true. We're going to do that. Okay, so Egypt doesn't have anything over here. That's all good with us. We're still making and cranking stuff out. All right, we have two marriage proposals. We have Plotia the Younger or Drusilla. Uh, what would be best? Both of them really hurt our science, which is very unfortunate. But I think we're going to we're gonna have to go with uh, Plotia the Younger. There we go. Uh, our guy almost got wiped here. And unfortunately, they did bring in lots of troops, of course, because the game seems relentless in that aspect. We're going to come here. We're going to heal up. I'm going to promote for 170. And it looks like we have a brand new threat on our borders. Oh, I'm so sick of these guys. We may have to go to war with the Scythians in order to remove these from existence. That's kind of my thinking. Didn't mean to click on that. We're going to get him. We're going to heal him up. I would assume that we can really do some nasty work on these guys. But to be quite frank, I think we're just going to come back. And we're going to kind of hold this pass. And that's all that's going to happen with these guys. Antium, we are going to go ahead and build a couple of chariots because that may be important for the war with Hatti. And as we can see here that they actually have another uh, another realm over there as well. We are going to push back here. And I don't have much to do. Okay, wow. Yeah, my, my orders are very much uh, limited. Family retreat, second year, the Valerius and Claudius families have spent the summer months in a lavish estate in the hills. Hmm. We're going to imprison Chancellor Supicia the Builder, who was going to be our heir. Uh, thankfully, Mamercus... Oh, never mind. It's Scribonia the Pious. Uh, Prince Mamercus is, is first in line, so we'll see how well this goes. Well, 
Not entirely unexpected, but a lot sooner than I anticipated. I expected to be able to attack them. Outraged at the treatment on him, of him, this is in the past, a vengeful King Hattusli IV, the new, of Hatti declares war. All right, let's rally our troops. Yeah, definitely. A man of Lala Mark has been arrested for inciting the public. His crime? After building a large bla uh, blaze, he proceeded to recite from his holy teaching, the Yasna. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll release him. The younger son of Persia's royal family has presented himself in Bononia as a defector, great admirer. Yeah, sure. We'll get some legitimacy along with all the other good things. And then we're going to upgrade some charisma. Absolutely. So we got wrecked here and they have a rather large force at hand. Now, one thing that I've learned over my time with this game is that uh, we're not going to take Hattusa. And in fact, we're going to sacrifice, I think, a lot to be able to not have to worry about that. What we're going to do for now, we're going to move here. We do have to worry about the war on two fronts, essentially, which again was not my hope. I was really hoping that we wouldn't have to worry about this until a little bit later. It is what it is. Hmm, I could get some really good hits on here. Or my thought was to start coming down this way, which I think we might do. But what I really want to focus on is instead of healing here, because I think that would be good, we can start promoting once again, because I think that's going to be crucially important. And once again, I think that, uh, I think that they should take a, a rule out of the uh, civilization book, and they should totally start allowing uh, healing to happen on an upgrade. I think that would be just a really, really solid addition. All right, do I have anything that goes, we have just combat two here. I need stuff that goes up against ranger or against not rangers, but oh, that's right. We can't upgrade to archers, can't we? <gasps> that's gonna help quite a bit. Now, admittedly, they do have quite a few things going on uh, in, in their favor. Like for one, they have the advantage of attacking. There we go, shield bear is what I want the most. That's what makes the most sense, but we're going to continue promoting everyone to see tough. We're going to be attacked a lot, I think, so it just makes sense to start reinforcing all of those guys. Mounted units will do 25% against those. Horsebane as well, I think, would be beneficial. Now, we do have militia. We're going to keep these here because that's the best place for them. We can't... I bet we could do... Oh, we still can't. Okay, so we... One, well, we need more orders. But we also need uh, more civics to be able to do that. Okay, that makes sense. Okie dokie. Let us... We upgraded everyone we could. Is that correct? Almost everyone we could, I think. Oh, they've already attacked, so they don't get to do anything fun. Okay, we have... We have... Okay, well, we have a chariot. What about that? <laughs> okay, that sounds good. All right. Prince Mamercus of Alala has died. Okay. King Caesar, second the new, has died in the field as well. Okay. Well, Caesar's dead. <laughs> the perceived dishonor of being recently bypassed in favor of Mamurka seems to have driven her to a murderous rage. Oh, okay, so she murdered my heir, uh, or Caesar's heir, and has thus taken the throne. Oh, you know, oh, cool. I'm insane. That's super fun. Uh, oh, my word. Fell victim to a coup. Have suffered labor uprisings in the last month. They come seeking insight. We will assume control reluctantly. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so one of the things that I'm very frustrated about is the enemy's overarching ability to take me out. It only took two. Actually, he got a critical for minus 14. So there's that. But I think just their ability to two-shot me at pretty much any point is really, like, insanely frustrating. Uh, bring preface. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Because I'm, I'm, I'm all for the bonuses there. But, like, what can men do against such reckless hate? I can't do anything if that's how it's going to be. If they have super consistent and overarching, just like ridiculous damage output, then like there's nothing that I can do for that. There's nothing I can do to combat it, not in the way that they are expecting me to. So, and like, for instance, this singular army, I can't take out, I don't even think I could take out a full one of these, but I guarantee you when they attack me, it's only going to take two of them, maybe three of them to completely take me out. Like, what the heck is this? I should by default be doing much more damage than 2 HP. The only reason I'm doing 2 8 or 8 HP here is because Spearmen have a natural affinity against uh against those guys. But if I put any of these guys out here, then I'm screwed. Like I'm very much screwed. Well, we're going to have to do it because guess what? They have a shoot ton of troops. So it's just things like that that are a little bit frustrating to me that I don't exactly understand like, why is this only 2 HP? Okay, so I see the river as a melee. I get that. But even still, it should be drastically more. Or when they do an arch attack, archer attack against me, it should be, okay, well, he just, you know, oh, it's just a little frustrating. There we go. 
So that's nice. But again, that's never going to be guaranteed to happen. Let's go ahead and push our militia into this. There we go. And then for instance, like this, what do we have here? Upset family versus scrub. Okay, so scrub provides a buff. That's good to know. And distance. But if they were to attack me, I should get a bonus because I swear I have walls here. I have walls. It seems like the walls don't do anything here. So it's just a unique situation that uh, maybe I just have a complete and total uh, lack of understanding in how all this works. And that's completely possible. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying the game sucks by any definition. It's just... Let's go ahead and do this. We're going to try and offer tribute just to see what happens there. And then we're going to have to just spend some money and move over this way. We're going to do some stuff against ranged units. And that's what we're going to try and do as well. Ignores a distance modifier, leads to marksmen. That's exactly what we want. And then we want shield bearer, which again is going to focus against ranged units. We have the money. We might as well. Plus 50% across a river. So that would be useful all the way over in this area. Let's try amphibious and see if that really helps us out. We obviously can't upgrade anyone else over here. We only have one unit or order left. We can roll that way. We're going to see what Egypt does as well. And maybe we can port some units down to here to help the war effort. All right. So once again, uh, let's see. Let me take a look here. We have a general. We have a ranger. Bloodthirsty. Okay. Friendly family. I guess that does matter, doesn't it? We don't exactly have the friendliest families here. And maybe that's a, a big thing that's working against us. Yeah, it's just so interesting that I get, like, absolutely no buffs for being inside the city. I guess urban works for me. Hmm. It's just uh, a very different situation. All right, so they did take out my militia, which is exactly what I thought they would, uh, which is perfect because it means that they didn't focus on the units that I thought would be attacked. So we're definitely going to do that. Let's go ahead and get a general in. But I want to do a general for someone who makes sense. Heals in neutral territory. There we go. Let's get defense strength. <laughs> We're going to get Pie Face the Foolish in here. That's going to work wonders. And then... Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, it didn't... Mm, mm. I must have not read that correctly. And then we are going... Hello, let me select you. There we go. All right, Nito. We're going to remove him. And we are going to tie it up. I need to move here. And we need to work on lumber mills. Because we're currently in the negative in that regard. I haven't heard back from Babylonia yet, but that doesn't mean all is in vain. Can I upgrade to Archer? Okay, I have to be inside of my own borders. But we're going to be a little cheeky, and we're going to work uh, <laughs> work towards this city in the background. I think that's the best thing. So it is. Upset family does matter. Uh, scrub and all that jazz is affecting stuff. But you would think even at that angle that it wouldn't really... That we'd be able to do more, but I guess not. Let's go with range plus 25 damage. Do we have a lot of generals here? We do. So maybe that's it also, is that they just have so many flick and flack and generals in the move. Which is fine. We can totally, we can do stuff against that. In fact, Heckler is one of the best ways that we can. And this is in two urban, not, uh, not against urban. Or when in urban. We're going to go with tough there as well. We might as well start adding generals then. Counterattack, 25%. Melee into urban. That's fine there. Everyone else has all their stuff over on that front. But I think, yeah, it's time to start moving these guys down. And I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start my attack. I'm gonna start coming in from behind. Because that makes the most sense here. And then we also have Carthage, uh, which appears to be yeah, all the way over there. Yeah, definitely for sure. Alright, well, Carthage is ahead of us as well. So they're actually doing really, really well. They have Six cities? How many do we have? We have six too. Interesting. All right, we need to choose production in Roma. We are definitely going to get some Axemen in here. I think that will help, and I think I could even upgrade these guys to Axemen. Yes, I can. It consumes a lot, but I think it'd be totally worth it. All right, a peace has been established with Egypt, but again, this dude, he did 12 damage. Good Lord Almighty. Okay, well, we have to retreat. I'm not going to lose a really, really good dude. Like, I'm just not. I refuse. Uh, it will not happen. But again, just look at this monstrosity of just everything. Holy almighty. We're going to do this. I'm going to make him rue the day. This takes... Okay, I was about to say, I'm not using up that many at once. But we're going to tell them... We're going to try to force them to go backwards, which is what's going to be the best thing for us. We're going to do this. We're going to start building that up. I'm going to kind of just wait it out here because I know that I kind of can, essentially. And then we are definitely going to move back 
and we're going to reinforce inside of our own in order to hopefully stem the onslaught. My, my hope is that these guys retreat and I can start poking out and attacking them. No guarantee that it'll happen, but a man can dream, right? I think so. It seems like the court of Rome is just like ever... It's like the most messed up court I've ever... Family, everything. Oh, it's just all messed up. So, so Scrivonia, the leader, she's she's dying, right? General Pieface the Foolish, who is a hilarious looking character. I laugh every time I see his face. Well, he staggers drunkenly into your chambers, carrying a handful of some mysterious substance and a rusty blade. I've come to heal you. You have a sneaking suspicion that the mysterious substance is bird droppings. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not going to do that. But she is... Uh, She's almost dead. She is definitely dying, and I really have no idea who the heir is. It's going to be Princess Fulvia, who is six. So this is the intrigue and espionage and all the stuff that's gone on is a fantastic aspect of this game. But good lord, do we have one screwed up family? Now the noble families run throughout to uh, run roughshod over the people unbridled in their lust for power. The people suffer and mock you as a weak and foolish ruler because she's a B word. I'm not going to lie. The nation's at a crossroad. How do we set this right? No, we need to do whatever we can to try and satiate all the families because that does seem to have a rather large effect on everything. And we're actually not doing too bad in terms of the war effort, all things considered. So we are going to continue working on them. We're going to continue working on these guys. Now, I'm not going to say that they bit off more than they can chew, but I think, uh, you know, I'm not going to lie. I haven't been able to really spend a lot of time looking over things and making sure that everything makes sense. So I think that's been on me, not quite understanding how everything is supposed to go. And so as a result, oh, there we go. I, I haven't fully understood it all. And so my frustrations are kind of born out of uh, a naiveness. I'm not going to lie. I'm willing to accept in, that I'm mistaken uh, because that's just a, a overall positive thing to do as a human being. So now that I understand a little more on what we need to do and how we need to do it more effectively, I think we'll be in a pretty good boat. We may lose Alala at this rate, but I think we're going to gain Maladia as a trade-off. And then we're also going to be able to push things a little bit harder. We're going to see how it goes goes i'm slightly optimistic and maybe that's a bad thing maybe not but i am a little bit optimistic on how we're going to go what we need to worry about the most is our financial situation because it is very very poor so what i've been doing is i've been building a lot of hamlets everywhere at least in the areas that make sense it doesn't make sense to do it over here uh, actually it does so let's go ahead and just start building hamlets everywhere we can there we go i need to make sure that i have good solid people going everywhere i really don't want to use up the mine space so we'll go here and we'll build a hamlet there as well i got all of my workers on hamlets i'm not even joking when i say that so that's good we've already attacked there i don't think there's anything else i can do we are going to go ahead and work on a rancher a miner who a woodcutter would actually be better we're going to have you go up there as first and then nothing else that we can do on that front all well and good in the neighborhood we need to get our warriors down to start helping out. I think we're in a solid position right now. A lot's happening. King Labashi Marduk, the Glorious of Babylonia. We don't really mess with them anymore. He's dead. Persia's now had his truce, as well as Egypt. Queen Scrabronia has died. And therefore, Fulvia the New is now in the midst of that. The young Fulvia is to be queen. News brings political chaos and rumors of the worst kind, of the wildest kind, swirl. Only one voice manages to unite the court. Asia of House Claudius claims a regency. Okay. Olvia may yet be queen. Absolutely. All right. So now she's the head of that. Ambassador Lucilla has discovered a talented pagan scholar. Uh, our official, we don't have a, a state religion. So I'm totally good to bring him on. Although that does bring... Uh, we'll look elsewhere, I think. Now Lucilla is my ambassador still. So I think we're definitely going to work on religion opinion. And the coronation has been met with a wave of patriotic fervor. How shall we harness this enthusiasm? We're going to encourage art, art, artisans. Wow, I, I can't speak. To move into the capital. One citizen plus a, a crap ton of culture. Which would make us into a legendary culture status, I believe. If my words are correct. Uh, and we did lose our guy here. We cannot forego the possibilities of... of 
making this work. So I am going to continue to push because if I can get that, I will 100% get this city uh, as much as humanly possible. So we're going to work on Besieger or we're going to go with Heckler because I do believe they have a general there and they have a general there and a general there. That's going to be really good for us. We are going to spend the necessary points to knock this guy out of commission. And then we're down here yet again, trying to do our best to stay alive. I think we're going to have to heal up a bit just to make that work. And I am going to reach out and we're going to kill or try to... Oh, nice. That was a critical. Very good. That's actually fantastic. So they now only have two units. That's sustainable. I think we're going to get Molly Dia. And that's going to put these guys in an even worse pickle because they only have... Yeah, they only have four cities, so we'll take one of them away. That's kind of the best solution that we have here at the moment. All right, development from the field. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to take this now. Uh, it's a little frustrating. I, oh, oh, I don't know. There we go. So that's been taken down so they can no longer, uh, they don't have any real uh, defenses. That's the word I'm looking for. Thank you very much. But unfortunately, I can't do much there. They still are attacking. They're actually retreating, which is very smart on their front. There we go. We have that taken care of. Man, we're losing a heck of a lot of money. Yeah, we're, we definitely need to start focusing more on creating some better areas there. I don't want to risk. I guess I could risk my low level dude to see what they have. Hattusa is undefended. What? Can I force march? No, but I can just go ahead and attack, which is what we're definitely going to do. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of orders because we're we're new and that's a regency anyways. I fully expect us to lose a chunk of troops here. They have two archers and they have uh, guys here who are just going to take me out. It's fine. Oh, I just don't, I don't have chariots or anything. That's okay. It just sucks. We may be able to squeeze Hattusa. I don't know. They're probably going to come with a giant wave of troops over here. All right. Not super great on the front. I still think we may be able to take them out. Let's just go ahead and try and have some fun with this. There we go. I think, yeah, the, the defenses are down, which is great. Unfortunately, they did drop a, a, a militia over here. But I'm still going to push as hard as I can. Recent assaults on Hattusa have resulted in crowds of prisoners, a few of whom are native Romans. One of these captures is a former Roman military student. Installer is an officer, absolutely. But we are going to continue to push hard on Hattusa because I think that's the smartest move. We are going to heal up here. I am going to push as hard as I can just to try and force that. And then over here on the front, we are back to the to the point of just needing to uh, defend against these baseless barbarians. And I had to use way too many attack orders in order to get that. However, I think they're in a really really tough spot. So we're in a we're in a really good spot ourselves. But what we're going to do is we're going to work on couple of axemen i think is the best solution we don't need to worry about the agent in terms of ambassadors let's go ahead and try and start making truces with everyone that we can and then what a unit do we have left perfect we're going to move them out here we're going to work on another hamlet because we really really have to focus on that now if i look over here it's mainly stemming from population issues and improvements dif uh, distance from the capital for sure but Bononia, which has been doing a very, very successful... I mean, they've been very successful. They are also one of the things that... Um, they're a reason why we aren't doing it. Why we're losing a lot of money. So we need to work on that. We can do it. I don't have any issues with it. I'm not exactly sure what happens when money is in the negative. But regardless, hopefully we'll be okay. All right, Fulvia, she's growing up fast. I think we definitely need to... Uh, let's focus on commerce. That's going to do some things. Oh, my word. King Pi Face the Carthage. What? Our spires received a personal message dress you from Pi Face, ruler of Carthage. Is this the same Pi Face? There's no way it's the same one. I think it's the same Pi Face. I mean, surely there can't be that many Pi Faces, right? How in the world did this happen? It's a paranoid rant, litany of accusations and falsehoods. I am plotting against him. But well, we're not going to be doing anything. I don't need another war. So we're going to do what we can to satiate everyone and hope that it works out. Now over here in Malidia, it's working out well for us. They're having to sacrifice a lot of units to keep us from taking that, which is 
perfect. I am completely okay with that. Uh, and then what I'm going to do here, let's go with Scribonia the Younger is definitely a bit better. Although that doesn't really help us in the moment, but that's okay. Uh, we need to heal you. And then we just need to attack everyone else. Queen Regent Asia. Now, we're not going to worry about that for now. Come on, please say we can... Oh, my word, it's not going to work. That's fine. That's just freaking peachy. We're still going to work on, on, yeah, building more hamlets. Because that's what needs done the most at the moment. And I don't really see a... Outside of minus one food. There's really no downside to it. So I think... We're just going to fill our, our lives with hamlets. One hamlet per... Oh, per culture level. Interesting. Okay, that's fine. No, I, I don't have any... I have no qualms or issues with that. I really don't. And in fact, we're going to try and push a little bit and see if we can't get... Oh, wait, let's build an Odeon over there. I didn't need that other person. There we go. We're well and good on that front. Am I out of... No, I'm not. We're definitely going to take a Tusa down. Unless they just have a lot of units that I don't know about. Making sure all these guys are well and good in the neighborhood. We do have an Axeman, which we are going to bring Axeman down. Whew. We're in a really good situation. This is great. This is fantastic. I love everything about this game. The times are changing. News comes from Abad that kings and queens are falling one by one. A new generation rising to power in their place. This new generation is led by King Agnum, Badnolonia. Queen Zarapinitu and King Pyface, <laughs> the new of Carthage. It remains to be seen in which direction they will steer their nations. It's up to you to reassure your nation this in this time of upheaval. Ooh, this is great. All of these are great. Double down on the construction of monuments for, legacy, er, for legitimacy, or we can get... All cities plus 60. Yeah, we're definitely doing that. We have a ton of food there. And we know that uh, that Babylon or that Hattusi is kind of on its last leg. And how do I know this? Because whereas they have been repeatedly trying to uh, put soldiers in here, they have now completely retreated. Gladiator army in the final moments, Ma Ma Malidia's leaders have rallied to force a gladiator's. Generals wish to know which resources they can expect to receive. Let's do... Yeah, we'll gain an Axeman. An effort to fight against it. There we go. So Malidia is ours. They have also retreated away from Hattusa. Which again is just a massive indication that they are on their last leg. That they are just... They're just not going to last very long. Now, I'm going to be a little more um, defensive, I guess reserved with our chariot because i don't know where they are at we've got our guy retreating up there we need to move and upgrade our people as much as possible in order to fight any potential wars in the future i think that is going to be the best solution we're going to heal everyone that we can our scouts which i forgot existed i don't think i want to worry about them at the moment we do have our axemen there we could add a general yeah, because they don't have a general, correct? Amelia of Alala. No, we're going to go to Queen Regent, the new. And we're going to send her maybe to attack the Scythians. Unfortunately, we have lost some legitimacy because we haven't been able to do any of these legacy things. And that is very unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now, I don't know what happens when we go under. Let's take a look real quick. In the case of a deficit, resources will be automatically sold to make up the difference. Oh, okay, perfect. So actually, we could just uh, control click. Oh yeah, it's so cheap to do that. I'm an I'm I'm an idiot, and I'm sure I've pissed a lot of people off with that. How did I not even think of doing that? We could have been in the positive so much. Thank you, food. We had, definitely have a lot of stone. Okay, I do feel like an idiot. So if you're watching this and you're raging against me. I get it 100%. Or we're in a completely super solid spot. They only have three cities left. Hattusa is going to be one of ours. Uh, it's going to be ours soon unless they just launch, launch a huge wave of stuff. That makes sense though. Oh, finally. In the morning light, Queen Fulvia the new sweeps into the court. Your courtiers gasp and gesture meaningfully. 
The distraught young leader who left the throne to her regent has matured to a majestic woman. I thank you for your fine efforts, Fulvia says to you in the court. Time has come for me to retake my rightful inheritance. No, definitely. We're definitely, we're going to be good. The old ambition, all right, that's fine. Our legacies have kind of been tarnished. Uh, I won't say tarnished, we just haven't been able to focus on them. So that's uh, a bit unfortunate in many ways, but also... Okay, finally, good. Uh, it's it's just, it is what it is. It's a result of the times and what we've been doing. The legacies haven't been that great for us overall, so there really hasn't been a huge benefit to it. However, I will say this, we are making massive gains. We're going to take Kanesh away from these boyos. It is undefended. Hattusa is a little bit of a lost cause at the moment. It's not going to always be so, but uh, we're definitely kind of taking some nasty hits in ways that I can't like retreat from, as it were. So that's very unfortunate, but it is what it is. I'm going to promote to a tracker. And then we definitely have a lot of stuff going for us in the positive. Let's build a farmer. That's fine there. And we'll go after a Jewish disciple as well. I think that's what makes a lot of sense. So we're going to work on building up our barracks and stuff. I imagine this may become a hotspot for a lot of things going in the future. Pons Islas has a strong uh, culture rating. And Rome, I think, is already legendary. Fantastic. So we're bumping up there. Uh, with Carthage, uh, apparently, okay, they do, it is legendary, you you got it, you got it, so we definitely, they have a lot of strong cities, we have a lot of developing cities, it is, would it be, I'm not super concerned, and it's come to attention that the Claudius family was often displeased with your predecessor, as a new ruler, you have a unique opportunity to regain the favor, uh, yeah, no, absolutely, that's great, that's going to do wonders for us, I think, we could build baths. Happiness? What does happiness really determine? I think we're okay on that front. What I would rather go for is, again, we're just now in the positive uh, in a lot of ways. But we're going to work on some lumber mills. I think lumber mills are going to be a very good thing for us overall. It's going to be very, very helpful. And we're out of turns. Go figure. But Fulvia the new... I want to work on these really before the end of the episode. We'll see how far we get. All right. Is Kanesh going to be mine? One more turn. That's totally fine. Kanesh will be ours. I can escape this, but the real question is, do I want to? I think what we want to do is we want to take out this dude. Or perhaps, yeah, we're going to take him out. That works. We have an Axeman that's come in here. We are going to spend the Force March to get into this. It's just because I want to kind of protect that as much as possible. We're going to heal up. We do have an opportunity to come in and attack Atusa itself. We need to keep that rolling. Really focus a lot of our efforts there. And yeah, that's about it on that front. We are we're rocking and rolling, guys. I'm super excited about where this all where, where this all ends for this episode. We have a new ambition for our new leader. The members of your council have gathered together to discuss the state of affairs. Your spy master is seated, an aura of cold malice surrounding her. Chancellor Clodia looks away as you enter. Ambassador Lucilla gives you a different glance. Shall we begin? They each have their own suggestion. We can start exploring the map. We can discover doctrine and fiscal policy or be at peace with three tribes or nations. We're going to work. Hmm. Let's explore. And we actually do have a scout. That would be instrumental in helping us figure that out. So let's go ahead and have them start exploring. Is there a way to randomize it or to automate it? Probably not. I'm not sure. Uh, but we have other things to deal with. One of them being we need a worker over here. We are going to take Ganesh this turn. It is happening. Boom. Your note. You note with pride during the attack that one of your close companions, Mamercus the Younger, excels in the heat of battle. However... Within the city, your troops discover a large party of Roman citizens, citizens, citizens captured during the border raids. Majority of the Valerius family. Time is of the essence, so we can only handle one of the matters. Oh, we must prepare a celebration of our people. What is this? We can make. We could do both. We must prepare a celebration for our people. Yeah, we're gonna do both. Of the seven virtues. Okay, cool. No, nice, awesome. A festival is held in celebration of the freed people. One of those freed, Cornelia the Schemer, catches your eye, for she has a rare beauty and intelligence. 
Intelligent, according to the officials tasked with ministering, sudden urge strikes you. We could bring her to court. Yeah, we're going to make her a court minister. That works for me. Sweet. So we're capturing that. They also, they just don't have much here, which is freaking finally. You have no idea the level. Actually, if you've been watching this channel and this series, you know the level of angst that I've had against these people since the very beginning of the game. So you know where I'm at. And you know that this is a long time coming and that I'm super happy about it. Uh, we could build another theater here. Antium is really starting to come into its own. So we're going to work on developing its culture as much as humanly possible. And then a lumber mill is where I was going to go there anyway. So it's perfect. I think we're in such a good position right now. We need to... Yeah, let's go ahead and just... Do we need to fortify? I don't think so. I think we'll promote instead. We're going to work on strike. And then... Oh, we don't need to promote him. We'll fortify here for now. All right, a little bit of an interesting thing here. They have developed a, a unit here. We are going to fortify up just this guy so he can kind of withstand the attacks. But we are going to continue our onslaught here. We have to. And in fact, I do believe I can even bring people around and through. Oh, no, 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 no. We want to attack this guy. Please don't, don't do anything stupid. Please, for the love of everything, holy, don't do it. Uh, there, no, my word, I'm, I'm clicking on this guy. Oh, don't start anything. You don't know the. Oh yeah, that'd be terrible. Oh, I'd cry, I would cry, cry, cry. All right, he's gonna stay there. He has to stay there. And we do have another uh, axeman that we can bring into the fold. Alala needs something to do, and we definitely have a lot of great things that can be done here yeah we're just gonna have them start being a little more of a peaceful place that we can start boosting everything with because man alive especially if we get hatusa holy cow roma needs stuff to do we can give them the stuff and things to do it with we're just gonna work on all of our all of our people all of our people doing all the stuff and things all right we have to marry pretty cut and dry claudia's family is going to be the obviously best one I need to be able to support these guys in the best way we can. As the head of the Jewish nation of Rome, it's expected you adhere to the tenets. Uh, yeah, we'll convert to Judaism. I'm okay with this. There's a lot of really powerful stuff happening. All right, Queen Regent Asia the New, which was our uh, our regent, would like to know what you think of her new haircut. Uh, honestly, I dislike it. Yeah, that's fine. Asia is too old. We need to replace them. We're going to put in Pompeia of Alala. And we need to be coming down here because, man alive, has there been a sudden resurgence. Go figure. I really don't think the game wants me to, to defeat them. Because now we have an Axeman who's just like freaking ballers all get out. All of these units come out of the woodwork. And it's just, once again, it's like, seriously? Like, really? Come on. But what we could do is we could threaten their main area. Well, no. No. We're going to focus... No, screw it. Screw it all. We are going to not let this intimidate us. We are going to really har uh, hone down and harp on them. Remove everyone away from here. Get down into there. Anonia, what do you need to do? We could do a woodcutter, 100%. And then we also have an axeman that we could push down there as well. They're not going to be able to take us on here. We need to focus all our efforts on Hattusa. They only have three units now against a vastly uh, superior force. We should be good. All right. They have done an incredibly risky thing. And they have abandoned Atusa altogether. I get why they're doing it. But it is like stupid risky. Because all I got to do... Oh, come on. Someone should be able to take this guy on. What? No. Okay. Well, let's, let's go back up there. There we go. Nice. Fantastic. That works for me. We can't attack twice. That's okay. Now, we are running a little bit low on troops, but I do have reinforcements coming. They're just kind of taking their sweet time. And we do have a lot of things that we need to be working on. Anyways, we got a really sweet general's unit there. We can work on those guys, but I'm wondering if there are not things that need to be done elsewhere. Like cold baths, that would be really nice. Pastures are good too. I'm wondering though, if I couldn't build something a little more efficient somewhere else oh the coliseum sweet mother of pearl i would love to build the coliseum but i don't know if i can all right we have dies we are going to we 
can't send them to any of those because we don't have enough orders. Okay, cool. Our war with the hot tea has been an unmitigated disaster. If there's a small ray of sunlight, it's the fact that our two nations have patrician sensibilities in common. All remains is for us to formally accept. Situation has changed. Although the road ahead is fraught with peril, the truce no longer serves our interest. You are correct in that, actually. Because they are bringing all the stops out. And this is, again, where it's a little frustrating. Because it's like, I should be 100% able to defeat this. But they just keep pouring out troops non-stop. It's a little frustrating. 100%. We're going to try and do our best to push that as much as we can. We are going to get our troops down to here. I don't want to give up. I think we're too daggum close to winning this. To be able to, to, to uh, even think about stopping now. So let's go ahead and take out those macemen. Because again, if we can do just some really intense damage to a lot of their troops. It doesn't matter if Hattusa ends up not being uh, able to do anything. And we are definitely going to work on... More Axemen or some Archers? Let's go with an Archer and an Axeman. And then we can bring our troops down here. All is well and good in the neighborhood. Let's get some dies rolling into a city. I think... Alala is going to be the best one for that. Not much else we can do. Now, following the healthy delivery of your beloved Princess Agrippina, you tout the remarkable skills of women who assisted at the birth. Medical training for midwives should be a boon, but some of the courts still believe doctors to be the only solution. Now, we're definitely going to go with that. Gains midwifery plus 20%, which is going to help us get research done faster. Now, one of the things that I've been neglecting is the expansion, or at least looking into other lands. We're going to be able to get that pretty easily, I think. And then, oh my word, yes, definitely this. We're going to go after a mine to mine those precious resources. And once again, they have retreated back into their sad, sad little hole. And we are going to take full advantage. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Three turns of that and Hattusa is ours. I don't know if I have the time and space for it at the moment. Uh, we'll have to kind of see. Hopefully we do, because I really, really, just really want to push that so hard. You have no, no idea. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to end the episode here. We are going to take Hattusa. That is, there is no stopping it. And we're also going to take Hapalalia. Hapalia? So we are going to remove Hati from the game. Now, unfortunately as well, oh, these guys are way ahead of the game. We'll have to see how it works out in the end, but I think we could pull ahead... We just really have to be mindful of all the stuff and the things. Such as making this the most wonderful city in the world. Onzylus has really shown up very well in this game. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do all the stuff and things. I really appreciate you just chilling out with me and enjoying the series. This is Havoc. I'll see you in the next one.